want to do a quick demo of the new dog picker hole finder in Legend On. So, open up Legend On here. I'm just I'm not going to care about the settings. That's more important to you. Um, I'm going to create a new node, the dog finder node. Here. So, uh, I'm going to make the message window a little bit larger here, so we can take a look at some of the results here. So first, I'm just going to kind of work with the default image. The first thing a dog picker wants to know is the size of the holes you're trying to find. So, so I click here, you can see the distance D equals 99.28, so our D equals 102. I'll turn off my ruler, and I'm going to enter, it was 99, 182, so I think 100 is probably good. So I'm just going to go ahead and hit test, and you can see the white spots where the holes used to be. And then I'm going to threshold the image. Uh, I'm going to do blob finder. So it eliminated this hole, but it found the other five holes. This one had too large of an area. Uh, then I can go to the acquisition node. And one of the key things you need to know for the acquisition node is the reference intensity. So let's go back to our regular image, click on the 42 to get the numbers. And you can see the empty hole intensity is around 110 or so. So let's enter that number in here. One of the things we're going to need to increase is the standard deviation cutoff. At least for this example. And now you can see that we now have targets on all the holes. I do not have a focus targeting system in place yet, so I probably have to manually add a focus. So another image that's also very interesting is I'm just going to clear targets here. Uh, is an actual lacy carbon holes. So let me go and find an example of lacy carbon. I have one in my, my, my folder. So load this. So here's my lacy carbon substrate here. The hole size we need to measure again. So I'm going to click on there. And D equals 104. Let me try this hole here. D equals 98.9. D equals 100. So I think sticking to 100 is probably sufficient again in this case here. Uh, and now you can see the holes have become white spots. We can now threshold the image. Uh, do the blob finder where you can eliminate your know, holes based on different criteria. And now we can change those blobs into targets. Uh, reference intensity again. Uh, it's very similar. Probably 100 is probably appropriate. We don't have any empty holes to measure it on in this image here in particular. Uh, but now we can see we have a whole bunch of targets and we can add our focus target manually. So, One thing you might want to do is see how this uh, fits into the larger uh, legend on pathway. So I'm going to switch over to my web browser here. Go to administration, applications, and I'm going to load um, the MSI Lacy XML import it. So now we have MSI Lacy in our Legend On for those people that haven't added it to their Legend On yet. And we'll go back to our Legend On window and now we'll have our, our MSI Lacy 3.3 um, available. So we can run that. Um, just to kind of get this quickly going, I'm going to create a kind of dummy preset. So I'm going to get a lot of errors associated with it, but I'm going to tell Square to collect on preset A. And I'm going to tell hole to collect on preset A. So, and then I'm going to um, go to hole targeting and tell it to allow us to verify what its picks are. And then we can simulate a square. So again, expect lots of errors just because the way I have it set up, I don't have real presets. So here is our image. I made it kind of a weird uh, rectangular image just so I can test it. Uh, but you can see here, you know, even with a weird rectangle as your image, you can get it. And you have to increase the threshold here just to get spots out of this image here. Uh, there are four blobs, and now we can acquire our targets. Back to the original image, add your focus target, and hit play. So that is the uh, final result there. Hope you like using this. It's kind of a better way to use Lacy Carbon in Legend.